Hey guys, this is Jibo from Belly Strong and today I have a bit of a different workout for you. I have a special guest, my husband Alan, who is going to be joining me today. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a true pregnancy workout if you hadn't put on a bit of weight. And I think I've put on about 10 kilograms so far. So what we've got for Alan today is 10 kilograms of extra weight. This which, is, <laughs> what we're which we're gonna strap around. Yeah, this is about 22 pounds for, for my American people out there that don't know what a, a kilo is or how to convert it. A metric system like ah. the rest of the world. And these are just ankle weights too, so they're not hard to find. We just strap two ankle weights together. So if yeah. you're looking for a bit of sympathy <laughs> from your husband, and for him to feel what it's been like for you through pregnancy. Strap on a weight and try this workout. I'm, I'm really interested in seeing how this is gonna. There we go. I put this on earlier just to, to get a feel for it. it. It like, you don't realize it, but like an extra 22 pounds on your body is, is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay. goodness it happens gradually and not, you know, all at once. Okay, are you ready? Um, as ready as I can be. We're so. gonna just warm up a little bit first. Okay. So. Let's do it, so. let's do it, I'm ready. Okay, so wide legs. And you're just going to lunge from side to side. Ooh. I might fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please don't. <laughs> And you should be feeling an inner thigh stretch here. Can I have my hands on my legs? or uh, You can have them any way you want. Okay. Or, or put them on your imaginary okay. belly. Put it on Four more. Put it on the belly. Hmm? <laughs> Two. One. Then keep your legs wide. You're going to take your arms out. And then touch opposite hand to toe. We'll go opposite side of you so we don't hit each other. Yeah. Oof. And warm-ups are important ugh, for anyone, but especially during pregnancy, because the body has already gone through so many changes. So you always want to get into an exercise session gradually. <coughs> Two more. I am out of shape. And one more. Okay, bring the feet together, and then we're just gonna stretch out the quads, knees together, Hold it for a couple of seconds and then switch. Woo. So brace the abdominals. Squeeze the glutes of the standing leg to help you stabilize. And then that should help with balance. You good? <laughs> you tired already? <laughs> I'll make it, I'll make it. Just Two to three seconds per side. Okay. One more. And then we do it all over again. So wide legs Ooh, okay. <laughs> and then side to side lunges. I mean, you don't need to go super low. <laughs> Four more. Three, two, one, and then into that windmill. So okay. opposite hand to foot. Keep the chest open and the back straight. Do you have to touch your toes or? Uh, you don't have to. Some people can't touch their toes so you can stay up quite high. Three more, two, and one, and then you're gonna do the quadricep stretches. One more time. Oh, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> My hip. I see what you were saying when you you say your hips are hurting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've got a a baby pushing down on your pelvic floor, and. Putting your spine out of whack or 
adjusting its position. Yeah, hips get sore. Three more. Keep the knees together when you stretch. Like this? Or? Yep. And keep your eyes focused on one spot <laughs> to help with the balance. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, last one. Okay. Okay, warm up's done. So now we actually get into the real work. We're gonna work our legs in standing. So nice wide legs, toes pointing out, and you're going to come down into a plie. So make sure that you're pushing the knees out. They're not rolling forward, squeezing the glutes, holding this position. Then going to lift one heel and then switch. So you're switching from side to side as you keep a nice low position. <laughs> this is tough. Wow. Right? Okay. So you should feel the quads burning a bit and the glutes and your core is still engaged. And we're going to do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up to standing. And then just simple calf raises. You do these all the time, but we're gonna make them quick. So you're coming up onto those toes, but you're not bringing the heels all the way back down to the mat. Squeeze the glutes and keep the core a little bit tight to make sure that you're not wobbling too much. I mean, my calves are already burning. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> For 10 more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. One more leg exercise. In and out squat. So start with the feet together and you're going to squat out and then come back in. Out and in, keeping low. So I don't want you to come all the way back up. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Chest open, shoulders relaxed. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> We've got 20 more seconds left, so keep going. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Shake the legs out a bit. Wow. One more time through those from the beginning, starting with the plies. <laughs> You gotta get those muscles strong for labor, you know? Okay. Okay. Toes out, knees out. Squeeze the glutes. Keep pushing the heels open. Nice and tall. Try not to lean forward. There we go. And then we switch from side to side. Nice. You dance? <laughs> Yeah, all the time. You've got a, you know, a decent plie. Switch. Oh. Switch. Keep it low. Ten more. Ten. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We're gonna have to edit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Calf raises. Calf raises are nice and simple. Whew. Squeeze the glutes. Okay. Calf raises. Here we go. Yep. And up. How you doing there? This is a lot yep. harder than I thought it was going to be. 
<laughs> 22 pounds may not sound like a lot, but yeah, yeah, this is tough. 10 more seconds. Whew. Four, three, two, one. Okay, last. <laughs> Balance is surprisingly difficult too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you've got a whole baby throwing off your balance and things need to adjust. So I'm glad you appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. You ready for in and out squats? I'm gonna do about half what, you, what you're gonna do, okay? Okay. <laughs> so stepping out and out and in. Out and in. Keeping it nice and low. So as the belly gets bigger, leg work tends to need to get a bit wider. So I can't really narrow squat anymore. Six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. <sighs> Okay, shake out those hips, side to side. I hope you're still alive at home and your partners or husbands are still going. We're gonna move down to the mat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just getting down into a kneeling position. We're still gonna be working the legs a little bit, but we didn't hit the nose and out through the mouth. So slow that heart rate back down in and out. And one more in and out. Okay, so have the tops of your feet on the mat behind you, hands on hips. And we're coming up as you push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes and then sit back down up and down. So it's a little bit <laughs> of a leg workout in sitting. Up and down. And you're not coming all the way back down to the thighs. I'm about a centimeter off of my thighs as I come back down. Just five more. Four. I hear you clicking over My there. legs are shaking. Three. Two. Ooh. One. And then we're gonna do some pelvic tilts here because pelvic tilts are great for pregnancy, to help with mobility and stiffness. You're gonna come up a little bit and it's a pelvic tuck and then relax. So it's so, like a, a slow motion twerk. Right, right. If you want to call it a slow motion <laughs> twerk, yes. But you should feel the quad burning here as well. Is the motion like only in your, your pelvis? Yeah, the motion's only in the pelvis, so everything else is stationary. Okay. Kind of at a stationary level. And it's like a pelvic thrust forward and back. Okay. For six more. Five, four, three, and two, and one. And then sit back down. How are those legs feeling? Um, right in here is burning. Yeah. Right in here. Yep, you're gonna feel that tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get into a little bit of core work because core work, again, is really great for pregnancy to help minimize the degree of any abdominal separation or diastasis recti, and just to keep you strong and to help with any conditions that tend to arise because of the instability that tends to happen in the pelvis during pregnancy. So we're gonna be in an all fours position. Okay. Here. Okay, so first we want to engage the core 
So if you imagine that you have a baby here, you're going to lift that baby up towards you as you brace the abdominals and flatten the ribs. Okay. And then hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. You're going to tuck your toes under, keep that abdomen or those abdominal muscles engaged and lift up into a bear pose and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then relax. And then we do it again. So brace, flatten the ribs, and then lift the hips up. We don't want that belly dropping towards the mat as we lift those knees off the ground. And relax. Just three more. This is a good way to work on abdominal bracing. And again, brace, knees up, and keep breathing. So try not to hold your breath here. Three, two, one, down. Two more. Brace, lift, five, four, three, two, one, release. One more. Brace, lift, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. How are you doing there? Ooh. <sighs> <laughs> I don't even have words. This is, this is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Okay, we're gonna do one of my favorite moves, the bird dog, because it's really great for control, especially rotational control around the torso. So you're in an all fours position. Brace the abdominals like you just did. And you're going to lift opposite arm and leg up and then down and then the other side, up and down. But, and then we just keep switching. Okay. But as you lift the leg up behind you, try not to let the lower back arch. So you want to keep the abdominals braced, the core engaged, but you don't want the spine to end up sinking. Okay. We want to keep everything controlled and tight. <laughs> it's a lot to think about, isn't it? Yeah. Try to keep both hips facing the floor so that top hip doesn't rotate out as you lift. Just four more. Four, three, two, I hear you breathing, which is good. <laughs> Last one. And then you can sit back into a bit of a child's pose stretch here. So this is a little bit of a break period where you get to catch your breath again. Okay, you ready to continue? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So now you're going to sweep your legs forward, hands behind you with fingertips pointing out. Bend the knees, feet on the mat. Okay, so push out of the shoulders. You wanna try not to drop into the shoulders. You're going to lift your hips up. There. So we're going to walk the feet out. Oh, okay. Walk out, <laughs> walk out, down, up. Walk in, walk in, down, up. And again, walk out, walk out, down, up. Walk in, walk in, down. Oh, good. I think this one has the most like accidental fart potential. 
Please don't fart. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working the glutes because strong glutes is going to contribute to stability around the pelvis, strength in that core region. But you also can just do a down and up with the hips if the walking out aggravates any pain. In and in. Now hold it up there. We're going to lift one leg up and then take it down. And other leg up and take it down. Yeah, there we go. And we keep switching. Try not to let the hips drop. Okay. And lift. One leg. We're almost there, baby. Okay. Okay. Six more. Six more. Give me six more. Alright, I got you. Abdominal the brace. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, and okay, you can shake out those arms <laughs> and open the knees and hinge forward into a bit of a stretch. This way. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Here we go. And you can just rock a bit from side to side in this position because it's also a nice lower back release. How you doing? I can see a little bit of a sheen on that brow. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is raw. I can't believe you do this every week. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got one more set of exercises in lying though. We're okay. gonna work the glutes. So we're gonna do a bit of bridge work. If you battle to lie down flat, if you have any dizziness or faintness, you can also do this over the edge of a chair or a couch so the top half of you is elevated. But if you can, lying down on your back, here. So have the feet close together, here. So knees and feet are touching. You're going to rock the pelvis forward and back. Good, and then settle into a middle neutral position. Brace the abs, and then you're going to lift the hips up to the ceiling here. Like as much as you can, or just? As much as you can control. So if you lift too high, your lower back is going to start to arch. Okay. So I can only lift to about there because my lower back is going to start arching okay. and my core will disengage. Okay. But you're holding it up here, squeezing the glutes. Keeping the knees together keeping, or? Keeping the feet and the knees together as much as possible. Okay. You're then going to open the knees oh. and then close. Okay. Yep, open and close. But you want to keep the hips lifted. Okay. Okay, let me know. Oh, you got a break already? I We're know. going. Okay. <laughs> We're going. Okay. 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 Open and close. Open. Close and then down or nope. stay up? Okay. Stay up. Well, alrighty. <laughs> alrighty then. Open. So keep the feet flat on the floor. It's just the knees. Yeah, that's. Close. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Eight. Eight more or? Yeah, eight okay. more. I'm trying to get Seven. a little bit further up. Six. Five. Ooh. Four. Three. Two. My feet are not staying flat. <laughs> okay, bring the hips down. Ooh. Then we're going to open the feet. So now the feet are hip distance apart. Okay and we're just going to do a normal bridge. So you're going to tuck the pelvis under and lift the hips ideas? up to the ceiling in a bridge position here. 
and now we're just pulsing the hips. So these are really tiny movements as you squeeze the hips up to the ceiling. So one, two, one, two, that's the speed of the pulses. You can really feel the extra 22 pounds on this one. <laughs> yep, that's the point. I picked this exercise specifically for you to feel all of that weight. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Oh, okay. Nine, I'm coming. I'm coming. Eight, yeah, I got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back down. We've got oh. one more. Okay, can you do one more? Uh, one more, like, for... One more the... bridging activity. Oh, one more bridging, okay. So now the legs are going to open a bit wider, so as wide as your mat. Okay, let me flip that way, because then I can get my legs out a little bit more. You just want some extra time to <laughs> not do any bridge work. <laughs> okay. Right. So, feet as wide as mat. And then you're going to lift the hips up into a bridge position again. A wide bridge. Oh, you're just watching me. You're right now, yeah, I'm just trying to get my name looking Okay. Up. And then you're going to drop one hip to the mat. Come up. Drop other hip to the mat. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hips up. Keep the core engaged, ribs flat. Keep the hips lifted. So as one hip drops to the mat, the other stay lifted. Should you? And then speed up. Should my body be turning or no? You'll have a bit of a twist, so the lower yeah. half of your body is going to twist. Okay. As you drop. Try not to let your knees sway from side to side. Okay. So the knees stay where they are, but the lower body twists. And as you come back to center, you give those glutes a big squeeze as you lift up towards the ceiling. Ooh. Yeah. I think I'm twisting too much, but... <laughs> <laughs> it takes practice. But we've only got eight more. This is our last exercise. Eight. <laughs> seven. <laughs> My legs are like... <laughs> you cramping? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get up and finish. Okay. Four more. <sighs> Three. Two. And <laughs> one. And come down. Okay, that's all the hard work done. You want to do some stretching? Yeah, let's do that. That's, okay. That sounds like a good idea. That your lower back. Wow. I really feel it here. I don't know if that's because I'm doing it wrong. It's probably because you're okay. doing it wrong. Okay, well, there you go. There you go, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so you're going to, we're going to do a mermaid stretch. So you might need to move forward because one leg is in front of you. The other leg is behind you. Okay. And then you're going to reach up and over to the same side as that front leg. Okay. And give the hips a little bit of a push forward here. And breathe. Stretches, always a good time to focus on that deep breathing. To slow down that heart rate and relax. And then we go over to the other side. So you can hold your front leg and stretch over the other way. You won't get as far, but it's also a good hip mobilization. You're then going to bring that back leg over and across the front one. So you can keep it up with that foot on the floor, like this. I just can't do that because my belly's in the way to stretch out the glutes. Okay. You can twist it. I'm gonna put mine here because my belly is in the way. And you should be feeling that in your booty. Mm. And then other side. So mermaid stretch first. One leg forward, one leg back. Reach up and over. Pushing the hips forward slightly. And then 
other side. So I'll hold that front leg and reach up and over the other way. You good? Yeah, I got a cramp. Harder than it looks. It is. Okay, bring the back leg over and across. And then you twist towards that leg. Oh, okay, that's a little off. It doesn't move in that direction. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. this is right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like a little pretzel. I see, I can't like turn all the way because the the uh, ankle weight. Yeah, the, the, belly, the belly gets in the way <laughs> of a lot of things. There we go. I'm turning. Okay. Okay. Stand up. Okay. So you're going to push back onto your haunches. And just hang here for a bit. And then just alternately bend and straighten your knees here. So one leg bend, one leg straight. Okay. You can also do this up here if you can't get all the way down to the mat. For four more. Three, two, one, and then come up to standing. Your legs are shaking. Yeah. Well, you'll be glad to know that that is the end of the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that at home with whoever you chose to do it with. So what is the consensus on these pregnancy workouts? The consensus is it's a lot more difficult than it looks, mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Two, um, even if you don't do the workout, just gentlemen, put, um, put this on just so you can feel how your body feels with 10 uh, extra kilos on it. It's surprising. Mm -hmm. um, and you cheated me. Yeah, I cheated you. Yeah, because all mine is right here. Yours is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's still there. I'm still carrying around the extra weight. <laughs> um, and sorry for breathing in the mic. If it's, because, you know, this is hard and I thought it would be, so. So if Sorry. you've reached 34 weeks of this far Sorry. in the workout, well done for getting this far. Mm. Um, especially if you're pregnant and working out, never mind just being pregnant by itself, your body is doing something massive and you deserve a pat on the back at least. So, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Have a look at some of our other workouts if you still want to keep going after this or if you want to work out later in the week and if you have any questions on any of the conditions that pregnant women tend to suffer from uh, check out our playlist on educational videos and that is it maybe I will have you join me for another workout mm. soon. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs>